via a recent crown research survey, a thousand women, black women, I should say, were surveyed in regards to their natural hair while trying to get a job or while on the job. And of that thousand women, it was ages 25 through 66, women who work part-time and full-time, 66% of them said that they felt like they needed to change their hairstyle to go on the job interview because they felt like they would be discriminated against or that they might not get the job. 25% of those women said that they were flat out denied the job, right, or not hired. And another 25% said that they were sent home while they were at work due to their hairstyle, right? And so, I want to say this now, of course, we know that there are certain states like California being the first state to pass the Crown Act, which says that it's illegal to discriminate against a person, specifically black people, due to our natural hair. And Massachusetts and a couple other states did the same. And it has passed through the House, but the Senate, not so much. But even though we have those things in place, my thing is, how do you know that a job is really discriminating against you because of your hair? Now, I'm not saying they don't. We know they do. Right. But are they going to. And now that the act is passed, say, hey, um, Bonquisha, your hair is a little nappy. You need to go home. No, they're going to find other ways to do it, right? But that's another case as to why we need to build and operate our own businesses so that we can hire our own people to wear our own hair the way we want to and naturally be ourselves, right? The oppressor is always going to find a reason not to, you know, want to hire us or to mess with us on the job and the hair. They like to use the term Oh, it's unprofessional, right? I remember when I went to work for corporate America in the financial services industry, I was told that about my natural hair. Oh, you know, it's not going to be really seen as professional. So you might want to, you know, do something else with it, straighten it. So I did put a perm on and it was straight and all that. Um, I didn't love it. I, I like my natural hair, but I needed a job too, right? But I would never um, ever do that again. But I understand, you know, a lot of people need the job. And so, of course, you know, you might not want to, uh, perm or straighten your natural hair, but it's like you do that, you or you don't do it, and or you don't get a paycheck in some cases, right? So again, we need to own and uh, operate and hire uh, own and operate our own businesses and hire our own people, right? So we don't have to go through this. So y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, the Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.